Thank you. So I'm on one of the official servers right now on the space start. There's two ways of scouting asteroids in early game. And the first way is just to fly around on your jetpack. And every time you find an asteroid with ore in it, you can GPS it. And then every time you're about to die, you can just respawn on your respawn pod. But the problem with this approach is that the range on the ore detector on the drill is not very far. So you often have to circle around an asteroid to find what ore is in that asteroid and not to mention if the ore is deep inside the asteroid it's gonna be harder if not almost impossible to detect it right away with the drill but this is the most convenient and risk-free way of finding ores in early game because you can just drift and then alt tap and watch youtube videos or something while you're marking asteroids but the faster way is by progressing with your respawn pod until it has an ore detector. So we're gonna do that right now. Alright, I'm gonna work on this respawn pod real quick. Energy critical. Alright, so now we got the detector, drill, and everything. Uh, I'm gonna move these thrusters. It's not necessary, but you can do it if you have already unlocked the thruster in your progression. Uh, let me reposition this, actually. Alright, so now our drill can go as deep as possible without piston or conveyor blocks. So... The fastest way of finding ores in early game is by using the respawn pod with an ore detector. And as you can see, I already found uranium there. So I'm just gonna mark it. Uranium. And you basically just drift like this to asteroids until you find cobalt. So you can make assemblers, refineries, and large cargo containers. And then you find silver and uranium for reactor. And then you find gold for a jump drive. And with all that, you can basically jump around all the asteroids and the ores that you have found earlier. And that's how you get all the ores in early game as fast as possible. <laughs> 